so we have statistics problems here problem so we have the data set 24 31 12 38 12 15 12 28 16 and 32 we usually call this data data um, x so we usually um, call the row data x so the, the instruction is to find the mean median mode and the standard um, deviation so to find the mean so this is equal to the sum of x sum of x so these are the x times n or the number of data points so this is equal to so we have 24 plus 31 plus 12 plus 38 plus 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 28 plus 16 plus 32 so now this is divided by n or the total number of data so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 um, data data points so this is equal to so we use our calculator so we have 24 plus 31 plus 12 plus 38 plus 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 28 plus 16 plus 32 and this is equal to 220 and this is divided by 10 so this is equal to 22 so the mean is equal to 22 so this is the mean so now to find the median so median so to find the median the median is the number in the middle so we have this and the number in the middle is the median but first since the um, row data x is not arranged in ascending order so we have to do that first so we have um, we have how many 12 1 2 3 so we have 12 12 12 and then we have 15 we have 16 <clears throat> and then we have 24 And then 28. And then 31. 32. And then 38. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we list the um, data in ascending order. So now the number in the middle is the median. So since this is um, an even number, so the number the two we take the two numbers in the middle so we have so the number in the middle is 16 and 24 so since this is an even number of um, data points so we have um, 16 plus 24 and we divide it by 2 and this will give us the median so we have 16 plus 24 divide 2 is 20. So the median is 20. So on the mode, the mode is the most popular number. The most popular number. So the most popular number is 12 because there are three of them. So there are three 12s, 115, 116, 124, 128, 132, 131, and 138. So the most, most 
popular number is 12. So, mode is equal to 12. So, now to find the standard um, deviation, we need to make columns. So, we need... So, this is X. So, I just rewrite the um, data here. So, we have the X. And I'm gonna um, do them in ascending order. So, we have 12, 12, 12, 15, 16, 24, 28, 31, 32, and 38. So, now we have, another, we need another column. So, we have x minus x bar or x bar is also called the mean so this is the mean x bar means mean and then we need x minus x bar squared so now we have 12 so we know that the mean is equal to 22 so we have 12 so this is equal to 12 so x is equal to 12 minus x bar x bar is 22 so this is equal to minus 10 so this is minus 10 so these are the same 12 minus 22 is equal to minus 10. So 12 minus 22 equals minus 10. Now 15 minus 22 is minus 7. So 15 minus 22 equals minus 7. And 16 minus 22. So 16 minus 22 equals minus 6. Now in here... So we have 24 minus um, 22, so it's equal to 2. 16 minus 22 is minus 6. So now and then we have 24 minus 22 is 2. So I just write down 2 here. This is um, 24 minus 22 is equal to 2. So, 28 minus 22 is 6. So, this is 6. Then, 31 minus 22 is 9. And then, 32 minus 22 is 10. And then, 38 minus 22 is 16. So, this is how you do x minus x bar. So, 12 minus the mean. So, now we square x minus x bar this means that minus 10 time my, times minus 10 so we have minus 10 times minus 10 this is what square means so 10 times 10 is a 100 and there are two minus signs so it's positive so basically you just square the number so this is 100 so that means this is also 100 and this is 100 and 7 times 7 is 49. And 6 times 6 is 36. And then 2 times 2 is 4. And then 6 times 6 is 36. 9 times 9 is 81. And then 10 times 10 is 100. And 16 times 16 is equal to 256. So, and then... We need the um, sum. So the formula for standard um, deviation is equal to S is equal to S for standard deviation for sample. The sum. So the square root of the sum of of x. I use x of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1. 
So, we need to sum x minus x bar squared. So, this is the column x minus x bar squared. So, we need to sum this. So, we add this. So, we have 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300. Plus 49 plus 36 plus 4 plus 36 plus 81 plus 100 plus 256 is equal to 862. <clears throat> so now we just plug in into the um, formula. So the square root of 862 all over n is equal to 10. We know that. So there are 10 data points. So 10 minus 1. So you got 10 minus 1. So this is equal to 862 over 9. So this is equal to um, 95.77, say 8. So now we take the square root of this and it's equal to 9.77. Seven nine. So the standard um, deviation is equal to nine point seven nine. Now the variance is the square of the um, standard deviation. So variance is equal to the square of standard deviation. So times. So basically, it's this ninety five point seven seven eight. Or we can just have 9.79 times 9.79 is you will go back to the it's equal to 95.8 because um I rounded off so it's this number.